Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
with the first generation expected to be completely phased out by the late 2018. So we're possibly capturing some of these fizzing out. The flares can be bright enough to be seen at night in big cities where light population usually prevents most stellar observation. When not flaring, the satellites are often visible crossing the night sky at a typical magnitude of 6, similar to a dim star. Uh, it's true, and that's what we see. So flares may occur from... Okay, as a... There are many controlled satellites in addition to iridium satellites, which can also flare, but most flares of these satellites do not exceed magnitude minus two. Therefore, they are often overlooked. So what I just showed you is definitely not a magnitude minus two. It's very, very bright. So I'm really sorry for the audio. I don't know if you guys noticed there's a humming or a sound in back. There's a very big truck outside. I wanted to go ahead with the video, so forgive me for that. This is what you're looking at. I'll get the links up to uh, the two only photos that I put up here, the GIFs. Um, we're looking at how that flaring is supposedly reacting, just to try to under get you guys to understand how some of these are being captured. Because as much as there are fireballs I'm capturing and uh, meteors out there and big asteroids, I want you guys to know that there are also a mixture of satellites too. So not to get everyone thinking that there are only fireballs roaming around out there. Uh, a community member has mentioned it, satellite flaring, and I appreciated him doing that two or three days ago because it is true. They're not all UFOs, right? Um, did you see that beautiful flash? This is a little different. We're going to get into that. They're not all satellites, but I do admit that we just saw um, a couple, um, well, a solar, a satellite, ir iridium flaring. Look it up. It's on Wikipedia. You can see yourself. Look at that flash of light. Uh, you can see yourself exactly what they look like. So this one here is a spiraling asteroid. And you can tell when they're spiraling around, right? So I will be able to differentiate some of the satellites. It'll help us knowing that the ones that are looking like fireballs are flaring. But the fireball I got the other day went out. So it was a fireball. They do exist. Don't, don't get me wrong on that. They do exist. But what we saw here today, tonight, what I, I captured last night, was um, an iridium flaring. Really sorry about the background noise that you're hearing, guys. But uh, I really did want to do this. Imagine the noise outside for us to be hearing it in the house. So look at the flash of light beside this object going by. Wow, pow, right? A very big flash, but watch this one. And then we'll go in and see it in close detail. That's a pretty big flash. And of course, it's on this object's path. You see how jumpy this object is as it's going by while we're looking at these amazing flashes? Watching the circle right here. It's a big flash. Wow. So these objects that are going by are spiraling. So for the first time, I'm able to show you guys a bit of the difference. This is an asteroid, and now look at the satellite. So if we know that this is a satellite flare that I saw, well, you see how this asteroid is more on a straight path. You see how it's not winding so much, and we are really close. There's lights coming from it, this object around it. Uh, probably flashes of light, I don't know. But there it is flaring up in slow motion, obviously and whoa, right? But if it was a fireball, it would fizz out, and it did not fizz out. And that's how I also differentiate the fireballs. A regular fireball will just fizz out right away, and this one just continues on its path, and of course, from top to bottom in the sky. That's, I never get meteors uh, from there. Jeff Walker, thanks so much. He's already at the end of the video, as already having been the contributor. Thanks once again, Jeff, for Contributing, man. Thanks for being here in the community. It's always greatly appreciated. David Dismuckus, I hope I'm saying your name right, brother. Thanks so much for being a contributor to this channel. Everyone, the, the whole list, I have to go through this list. I should talk about these people more often. Uh, because Why? Because it's greatly appreciated. So, thanks for connecting, everyone. I'll try to get some more videos up. I'll be outside doing a bit more infrared again trying to locate more of those satellites in that constellation to get some views. And the moon is slowly coming back.